I'm Big Will Levinson, and it's time to talk sports. Twas the night before high school football on the Western Slope. Ladies and gentlemen, this Friday night, it's the return of Friday Night Frenzy. And it's not just the Fruit of Wildcats in action Friday. Coming off a heartbreaker in the state Final Four, the Montrose Redhawks have reloaded for 2024. Yeah, One, two, three. <laughs> it's the eve of football season in Montrose. Coming off the heartbreak of being just one win away from a state championship berth last season, the Redhawks, they cannot wait to get back on that field. We're really hyped for this, and everyone on our team is just, we're coming to hit. And if you're not ready, you're not ready, but we're ready. It was heartbreaking when we lost to Erie by three points. We came so far, yet so close, but close doesn't cut it. There's been four or five of us with a counter on our phone to this day, and a counter from that day we lost up. So it's been on our minds, it's been fueling us the last however many, almost 300 days now, just to be ready for this and not let that happen again. It's been our goal. And I'll be honest, I had some worries before I came to practice. After all, it's a Montrose team that loses a ton of production. Two-year starting quarterback, Gage Wareham, 4,000-yard rusher, Blake Griffin, Jackson Killen, Isaac Jessup, Cortland Nelson, the list goes on. But then I got to practice, and one look at this year's team alleviated those concerns. Everybody loses their seniors every year, so it's not that we're at a disadvantage in that regard. Everybody has to, to graduate their seniors. And I think what happens, you know, when you when you get to a point where your program is established and the younger guys, they step up because it's their turn. And so they, they don't want to be the ones that have a, a letdown and, and there's a certain level of expectation that becomes expected. And that's, that's kind of what they usually live into. And kids will usually do what you need them to do if you expect that out of them. I know we lost a lot of starters last year to, to this year, but we have fillers for them, and we're coming at we're coming at the opponent with grit. And at the quarterback position, don't expect any drop off for this team. Six foot three inch senior Chris Mock has waited his turn, spending the last two years learning under Wareham, and there's no doubt he's ready for his moment. He's done a really nice job, and he's he's a big, strong, athletic kid, and we're expecting great things from him, honestly. So it's finally his time. I'm happy for him. He's. He's had to kind of wait in the shadows, but he's plenty capable of doing the job, so I'm excited for him. Me and Gage were you know, great friends over the last three years. I've been learning from him, and I don't think there's a, a thing that he has known that he hasn't taught me. And Appling's been a great coach getting me up to speed, and I've just, even last year, it was like next man up type thing. So just knowing what to do and how to do it, I, we're not going to miss a beat whatsoever. But now the time has come to play football, to hear the roar of the crowd, to feel the feeling of game day. Get your blood flowing a little bit and you know you think back to all the all the first games that you've ever played in or been a part of and, and it's exciting for these kids to be able to do that tomorrow. It's gonna be a great night for football. The first game's always electric and we'll have the band out here and the, you know I'm sure the, the, the fans will show up. It's gonna be a great environment. Um, hopefully our kids are dialed in and ready to play and we can uh, you know just play our style of football and not worry too much about all the distractions and just kind of lock in to doing our job. Kickoff between the Montrose Redhawks and Durango Demons is set for 7 p.m. in Montrose. The highlights will hit your screens when Friday Night Frenzy finally returns. But that's all my time for sports. I'm Big Will Levinson. All right, thanks, Josephine. High school football kicking off here in the Valley tomorrow night. College this weekend. The NFL two weeks from tonight. We're here. We're here. <laughs> you know, you know, yeah. oh, we've been waiting all year for it. You've been waiting all year and you talk about the last month, we're getting mm -hmm. closer, we're getting closer, and now, just like that, yeah. it's here. And, I mean, talking to the coaches, it comes so fast for them at their practices. They only have two weeks they probably to wish be they in had full a, pads. A, a more time. They wish they had more time to practice, but it's here. They're playing ball Good tomorrow. Good luck to all of them tomorrow night. We're looking forward to a great season. We're done here. Tune into westernslopenow.com for all your news, weather, and sports. See you later.